Hello, in this Bootstrap 4 video we're going to show you checkbox buttons. Up to now we've just done regular buttons, though we've got different types and it's just essentially styling. So if let's say I were to click on this one or were to click on this one or this one or this one, it's essentially just the user clicking on it and it performing an action. Whereas the checkbox has two different states on and off so the user can toggle between them. The usage of something like this can be for surveys so you can select something like a, a certain selection item. Also you can also use it for login forms when the user logs in you can check a little checkbox it's very common on user login systems over the web that it keeps you signed in for let's say x amount of days. So that's what a checkbox can be used for. Luckily Bootstrap really simplifies the process and it's really just an extension of what we've learned in terms of buttons. So let's get coding. Maybe just go to your code I'm just gonna add it after all the other buttons you can do it in a fresh project it's not a problem so I'm going to put some break lines and first of all you want a div and the div is gonna have a class of btn dash group because it's, it's going to be a button group it's going to contain buttons within it so uh, we want data dash toggle equals buttons and now you need to put a label and the label is going to have a class of btn btn dash primary and I'm going to make the first one active it's just going to be selected by default obviously if you don't want any selected by default then you don't have to but if you do you just simply have to put this active class and as you can see I put btn dash primary here and btn this is essentially what we've been doing for the different types and different styles of buttons so what I recommend is after you've watched this video actually mix and match some of these different styles in to the checkbox it'll be fine uh, we definitely do recommend that you check that out what you're gonna need within the label is an input so the input is gonna have a type of checkbox and if you want it to be active checked aka it's selected you need to put an empty attribute called checked put auto complete equals off and now just simply put some text i'm going to put check box one is selected and to actually save some time i'm just going to copy and paste this and just show you what a checkbox looks like when it's not selected so you just get rid of the active class and get rid of the empty checked attribute so I'm just gonna change this to checkbox 2 and that looks a okay so if we save this now go to our web browser refresh there you go we have a checkbox you may be thinking that you've seen checkboxes for before and they don't look like this they usually just look like a square and yeah they do if you want they can just remove some of these classes add a bit of styling get it looking the way you want it but in terms of functionality this is a checkbox so if i click this it's no longer checked it's checked no longer checked if i click it it's checked whereas a regular button like this one if i click it it's no longer selected when i go over when i take focus off it whereas if i select this and i'll go somewhere else it is still selected so that's how you use checkboxes within bootstrap version 4 obviously to actually use this in your project you want to use some sort of jquery or some sort of php language and actually detect where it's been selected or not and code it so it does something accordingly but that's specific to your website if you have any questions, feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question.php. There'll be a link in the description. There'll be another link in the description to the source code from this video. So if you have any queries and you just want to check out the code, check that out. 
please rate, comment and subscribe as it does really help keep the content free. Plus, it also helps us provide more content on a regular basis. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.